Sensory neural hearing loss occurs from damage to the inner ear. That is the place of origin of the nerve that runs from the ear to the brain or back to the brain. And there are 66,000 new cases. That it's, no a very, it's a little confusing, <laughs> but we can said. tell you that researchers at the Cleveland Clinic worked on modifying the implant to save children's hearing as soon as possible. Marty Soul with our Medical Minute. Two-year-old Corbin Lapso is the life of the party, but there wasn't always a party in the Lapso household. Corbin was born with bilateral severe to profound sensory neural hearing loss, meaning he couldn't hear anything, even with regular hearing aids. I remember her saying, like, it's lifelong and permanent and can only be reversed with hearing technology, and at that point, the room kind of went black. Pediatric audiologist Samantha Ane recommended Corbin undergo bilateral implant surgery at just seven months old to restore his hearing. The FDA approval for implantation for infants with bilateral severe to profound sensory neural hearing loss uh, is nine months of age. At Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital, we strongly believe that we should get these babies to hear as early as possible as long as it's done in a safe manner. Today, Corbin is fully recovered and... He is thriving. He is doing probably more than he should be at his age. For some, that was like the end of the journey. You know, like he was treated, he was fixed. But for us, that was just the start. You know, we were finally able to see what this little guy is capable of. I'm Marty Salt reporting.